Hey guys, I wanted to take a few minutes today, whether it's the morning, afternoon, or evening, to talk to you about the first Asher knife that I brought into my collection, and that is the Asher Centauri. The Asher Centauri is built on the Asher Nomads platform, but it was not a knife, again, that I was aware of, so the Centauri blade style with that poon kind of attracted me I guess more so than the regular Nomad. The blade has that fuller that runs all the way down the length of the blade and it has that nice spoon. It was just kind of a cool looking clip point to me. Um, this knife again was when I discovered Asher Knives from Lefty EDC's channel. It is S35VN G10 handle with uh, overlay on top of steel liner locks with the bar style lock. These knives ship with extra springs um, and they came in, I wanna say for right under $90. So in terms of value, this knife was, to me when I first got it and still is, just really an amazing value for what you get. Um, the Nomad, as we'll see in a couple of other videos, has really evolved. Um, the Centauri blade is not still available, um, but again, what Asher's done with the evolution of his knives has been no short of very impressive. Listens to the community, makes changes, and constantly strives to make the knives better. Um, this knife is a small, medium-sized, kind of a bug-out sized knife. You can see how it fits in my hand. That's just the straight, regular four-finger grip with my finger on the poon. If I want to choke up, I can get right there on the flat. I wouldn't want to choke up too much because there's not much of a choil short of that sharp sharpening choil. It's a thin blade, thin S35 VN blade, and then real light, comfortable handles with a nice G10 back spacer. Um, again, very good action. I compare this to bug out actions and to be quite honest with you, even though I just failed it, they seem a little snappier to me and I don't know if that's because of the thickness of the spring or just the way that it's tuned. But again, for a sub $100 knife and S35VN, it's just a great value. Let's do a couple of quick size comparisons. Let's look at it next to the Cold Steel 4 Max. Smaller than the 4 Max. Savini Baby Banter. It's going to be bigger than the Baby Banter. Let's look at it next to the Bitch Made Bug Out. Which it's been accused of looking a lot like. It is just about the size of the bitch made bug out guys, which will make it smaller than the paramilitary too. Um, so for comparison, you can see the similarities, right? But you can also, at least I can see a lot of differences in the handle shape. I can see that there might have been some inspiration taken from the bug out. But let's be honest guys, the bug out's a pretty neutral knife and there have been a lot of pretty neutral knives that were similar to the bug out before the bug out came out. Again, I love Benchmade. I love the bug out. I just don't see um, it being identical in any stretch of the imagination to a bug out or a bug out clone. I don't think that was uh, Asher's intention. Um, you know, were there design elements that it drew from? Sure, but there are a lot of differences as well. So this is the Asher Centauri. I've got a Generation 1 Nomad that we'll look at, a uh, Generation 2 Nomad, um, and then some Spiros. Again, I really appreciate what they're doing and what they bring to the game and the value that they offer their knives for. It is really quite impressive. Guys, please look out to the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Be kind to one another. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate over hate. I love y'all. Peace.